Hello, I'm Richard Vobes. I'm out on another of my walks. Welcome. Today I've come to Ford and I've come to look at a rather beautiful and ancient church, St Andrews of Ford. Here it is. The village of Ford is in West Sussex. It's um, close to the River Arran and I think the reason it was called Ford is, as the name suggests, there was a ford across the river going back many, many thousands of years. And this uh, church that we're going to visit, and I'm going to meet Andrew Snow, hopefully Andrew, uh, Martin, called him Andrew then, the church is St Andrew's, Martin is not a saint. Uh, um, I'm going over a peculiar uh, little way to get into the church this morning. It's, it's like uh, it's like the old-fashioned um, horse um, platforms that you used to get on, but I think that's just to make it easier. But actually, <laughs> there is a gate, so I could have used the gate. But anyway, here it is. This is St Andrew's, and the man in orange is Martin. Sorry for the confusion. There, and it's a lovely, it's a Saxon church as far as I know. Um, we can find out a little bit more. On the top, I'll just point that out whilst we're here, if you could just look above my head, on the top there the little bell cap is painted in white and I believe that was for navigation of the ships that used to go up the Arran navigation on the River Arran which is to my left. Let's say hello to Martin who's patiently waiting to see us. Hello Martin. Good morning to you young Richard. How are you? I'm fine. Another Even, bright sunny morning. Yes, in spite of getting up early to uh, catch the sun. There you go. Well, we want to get nice and early and see the church in its best light. That's right. Now, why have you taken me to St Andrews? Well, it's an, another Saxon uh, church. Uh, Saxon originally, but like uh, all churches, they've been modified. Things, yeah, yeah. And, and the, with lots of Norman Yes, I mean, the porch additions. is definitely not uh, Saxon. No, <laughs> and, and not even Norman it. either. Not, not Norman, yes. No. I mean, shall we walk around about around the yes. church or shall we go inside? Oh, we'll go around outside. It's always good to start on the outside. Let's go um, a little away from the church through what is part of a forgotten graveyard, it has to be said, because um, these gravestones do look quite ancient, but I... I noticed there were some more modern ones as well. Yes, uh, over there, there was one um, put, put, put in there, d or died in May this year. Well, there you go. So, so uh, and, and even a wooden cross I noticed as I came in. Wow, we're walking through some very long grass through this graveyard, so be careful you don't suddenly bump into a headstone. Uh, and I've just, right. I've just <laughs> remembered, you're wearing... You're wearing shorts. I'm just yeah. sorry. I'm, I'm looking out for the, the stinging nettles. Yes. Don't worry. And the adders. And the adders. Uh, um, so, but here we can get a much nicer view of the church. Saxon origin, as you say, with Norman additions and then later through up to the Georgian period, um, with a, a modern thing. What what's what strikes you as different? I mean, the tiling on the roof doesn't seem well. That's uh, that's very, very old. recent. Yes. yes, that would be. It could well have been straw originally. Right, oh uh, right, sort of uh, thatched. Thatched, yes. Yeah, so um, I mean you, that's the sort of image I have of a, a Saxon church, it is a thatched roof. Yeah. Um, but Ford itself, there's, there's not very many houses um, from that sort of period. Have they all disappeared? What's happened I to them? I don't think there's anything from that period. Um, from the Saxon well, period? Well, uh, sa uh, Saxon residential buildings were Every, everything was wood. Right. It was only really churches and extremely high status uh, that was built uh, of stone. Or, yeah. or so, so remnants of any um, settlements that were here would have all disappeared, really. Exactly. But, um, I mean, even, you know, based on the fact that uh, the Normans would have built stone and, and stuff, it just seems it's a very depopulated area, and there's probably a reason for that in history. Um, Yes, I mean, it, it, it's on the way to nowhere, really. Um, despite the name being Ford, yes. uh, there's some dispute by historians about whether there was a Ford at this point. Oh, I see. Because I imagine it would have been quite wide on the river if they were bringing ships. It, it couldn't have been a Ford, surely. If ships well, were coming up... No, that's right. It's it wouldn't have been... Different. You know, a Ford is a very shallow crossing point. Mm. Maybe uh, there was uh, a Ford, bridge. A Ford would be... Uh, no, there would not, wouldn't have been a bridge at that time. Um, but you have to remember that it's tidal, and at one time oh. there was quite a large tidal range. So if the tide went out, maybe that's maybe when you that could get across. Yes. So anyway, it's a beautiful um, 
uh, church, <laughs> yes. I forgot what it was then, um, <laughs> with these different bits. This is a strange little anomaly that's built onto the north door. Um, you were telling me earlier that this is for um, heating. Yes, um, it, you, there's some steps down to the bottom there. Right. And this was built right at the end of the um, 1800s. And in 1899, in fact, uh, there's a note in the church that they built uh, they dug a well to supply the water for the heating system. Oh uh, right, so what, how uh, would the heat, the heating would have been uh, steam heat? Would have been steam, steam, steam heat, heat. Uh, and in the floor there's the remains of the grills because they pumped, the pipe, pumped it through pipes. And then the heat would the have church. come up. Yes, um, as far as I can tell that's no longer in, in, in use, right? Because we can't see any chimney here. No, uh, for the for, for that. So um, I mean, it's, it's in, yeah. So the steam was generated in some sort of in, in the, furnace in a, in a furnace un underneath, right? And above, uh, it would be a vestry. Yes. For, for Let's go inside there. and have a look, and then we can get a, um, yeah. a better idea. It's interesting that this face of the wall, the west face, um, is painted white. It's a bit like the Hardham Church we went to. Painted right. white, and that's how churches used to look, didn't they? They were yeah. rendered with well, something. They, they they would be uh, lime rendered. Yes. Uh, or lime washed, uh, pl or, pl or stroke plaster. Yes. As as we think of it, and um, to, as a as a weatherproofing as much as anything. Right. Got you. So when we see these churches which are exposed, they're not. I mean, it looks like there's bits of napping on there, but that would have yeah. just. There's, all, there's a bit of everything. bit of there. everything in here. Let, let's go inside. I'll let you lead the way. Right. There's, there's no electricity here. So, so it's going to be a bit dark. Well, it's another rather beautiful church and a church that's had um, quite a bit of work and restoration work on it to keep it in uh, good nick and look after it, hasn't that's it? That's right, yes. It's uh, certainly, uh, apparently it needed it. Yeah, and, and also, um, and we can't really show it terribly well because it's quite dark in here, but again, like some of the churches that we have looked at, uh, Martin and I, it has um, wall paintings on. Yes. And uh, is that common to Sussex or is that across the board? Ac across, across the country. Right. Um, when people weren't as anywhere near as literate as um, as now. Yes. Um, you know, you'd only have the priests and a few other people would. would and I suppose what I'm what I was meaning is is it is it um, is it that we've looked after our churches better, or do you still find the wall, the remains of wall paintings across other churches all over the UK? Um, that, that, well, they're, 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 they are, they do exist across the UK. Yeah. Um, to varying degrees. Yeah. Um, to a large extent, they were preserved by the uh, Reformation height, painting them over. They, right. They, they, were, they, were they didn't, but not intentionally. Not, in, not intentionally preserving them, they, they no. wanted to hide them. Yes, no, but, but they were preserved by the fact that they had painted them. By yeah, painted. So I was yes. just clarifying yes. that. Yeah. Um, so th we're in the chancel. The chancel's interesting because um, it's all on one level, but I did read in a book that actually originally this chancel was a little bit lower. And, and it's, the chancel is in a Norman addition, isn't it? Uh, yes, you can tell by the proportions of the nave. Right. Um, that, um, you know, that that was originally a single cell church. A single cell church. So, did the Saxons build churches with um, chancels? Um, or were they just mainly, they just built them as single cells? Uh, they, they, they built all kinds, but quite often they, they, were, they were either just a, a small ring, you know, rounded right. asp, um, or a longer building with an asp. You know, the, so the asp, you, the you, asp is the bit at the end on the east wall that's sort rounded. of rounded. And yeah. Sorry. Tr tricky to make, presumably. Um, or is that easier? Or was that just uh, the style? I'm, I'm not a builder. Right, OK. <laughs> and I also, interesting, let's go back outside because it is quite dark in here. Um, I did read that also there was a peculiar burial, a pre-Christian burial that was discovered in this area where the skeletons were found, about six of them, I think, and they were buried in a radial pattern with their heads facing inwards. Right. Um, Pre-Christian. Yeah, pre, pre pre most likely Saxon. Right. Yes. Um, all kinds of... Uh, I mean, all kinds of sort of burials and for all kinds of different reasons. Exactly. Yes. But, um, so anyway, this, I mean, it's an interesting little church. Um, again, you know, if you're not into churches, then 
it's, it's going to be a bit dull, isn't it? But <laughs> churches are interesting because they are the earlier, earliest buildings, substantial buildings. They're in existence these days. They can be over uh, a thousand years. Um, and also they're time capsules yes. because of all the different people who've had the, the church. You, you've, got the, you, you've got the additions to it, the re reductions to it, the changes, the modifications. That's what, mm -hmm. for me, and I'm not religious, it makes the church a fascinating building because of all the different things. And of course, churches were very much crucial to a community's um, raison d'etre. Yeah, they were the, they were the centre of the community. And um, but what, what's amazing is, of course, that most of them are now still in use. They're still in use, um, even though people are. We're a more secular society. Yes. Anyway, if you've enjoyed our little video, give us a thumbs up, press the bell notification, and I'm going to get you to open the gate for me so oh, I can uh, process process through the through the gate, which would be lovely. Thank you very much, Martin, and we will see you on the next one. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't, and um, we'll look for something equally fascinating and interesting. Until then, thank you Martin. Bye bye. He's going to lock up now and I'm going to find my way home. Till the next time, bye bye. <laughs>